see you. God is good. And all the time. I'm sure you will not tell me to do things in a hurry. I will not. I want to promise you, I will not. This is our day. This is the day that we want to know a lot about Nakuru girls. We are not about to hurry because we care for you. Because we care for your daughters. Because if we are in a hurry, we will not be able to assist our daughters to make it at Nakuru girls. High school life, People, it's not easy. When you look at some of us who have probably even refused to put on weight, <laughs> eh? probably it's because of the challenges that we come across. So let's be together in this so that we take our children through high school and we ask God to bless us as we go together. So I want you to stay relaxed in your chair. God lives at Nakuru Girls. So you are so protected where you are. So just sit there and allow us to tell you about Nakuru Girls. I why Nakuru Girls is a school of choice. Congratulations for making it to Nakuru Girls. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. So I want to start by introducing um, the teachers, the people who will take care of your doctors. May I call it teachers? Please come over. Come over, teachers. I know you are tired, but please do. Yes. Uh, a good number of teachers are in class. We are giving exams. So I want to appreciate the few that have been able to come. Uh, it is a representation of the 56 teachers that we have. I want to start with Form 1A class teacher, Madam Judith Naliaka. She is there. Who are the, who are the 1A parents? Can you raise up your hand, parents? Wow, may God bless those hands. Next is Madam Kamau, Form 1B class teacher. Form 1G, Madam Tadigani, Yafoha. 1H, Madam Susan, Yafoha. Madam Juliet. Uh, one in class teacher, Nakoha. One C, Mr. Robert Kiprov. And the mother, the mother, Madam Jul uh, Janet Kabuta, is the form principal of form. Our uh, parents, it would be a good idea that you take the phone numbers of your class teachers. And uh, let me just allow them to give you the phone numbers. Form 1A, 07, 07-18-94-95-44. 07-18-94-95-44. Four, four. That is my official number. One B for boy zero seven two six three nine seven six six seven. Mrs. Kamau. I hope it's clear. Zero seven. Two six three nine seven six six seven. One G. My phone number is zero seven two two nine double three one two seven zero seven two two nine three three 
127, Mrs. Rigani. Zero seven two two. That is one G. Zero seven two two nine three three one two seven. One H. My name is Mrs. Mudenji. Phone number zero seven two zero ninety seven fifty nine. 11 0 7 Madam Chumo, class teacher 1P. Her phone number is the phone principal. My phone number is 0 Wangi. She is in charge of uh, timetable and uh, orientation of the new teachers. He is in the senior management team. Thank you, Mr. Mwangi. Next is Madam Nyodoro, she's our deputy uh, academics, and she does a lot of good work. She also teaches French. How many of you would want their daughters to learn French in this school? French? She teaches French. Thank you very much. Yes, next is Madam Kamau. Madam Kamau is a deputy administration. She does a good job by taking care of your daughters, in charge of welfare, that's a very serious uh, affair. She also teaches kids for him. Thank you very much, Madam Kamau. Now, uh, we also have uh, support staff, Mr. Sami, standing for the support staff. We also have support staff in the school, and we're very proud to work as a team. Now, this orientation. Orientation is very, very important. It is a time we want to learn about each other. When tasks come, we take time to learn. We mention four societies that are in Nakurugas. You know, I don't know how you felt it. Because at Nakurugas, we want to bring up people totally. And we want to say, even like for me, the principal, sometimes I am a protestant, but sometimes I go to attend service of this SBS. I want to learn them. Sometimes I attend the service for the YCS. Sometimes I, the, I actually go for the service of the CU. Sometimes I go with the Muslims. Sami, I go with the I go out to the Muslims. That was in Fiji. And I, I went praying with them because I want to understand. And that is why this day for you as Nakuru girls is very important. Because you want to understand Nakuru girls. Just like I was telling you, you don't know what happens here. The world has changed. Unless you understand the journey, it will be so hard for you and your daughter to go through this life. So I want to read my speech. This is my speech, Mrs. Menjo's speech. Uh, and I want to start by saying, welcome. Welcome to Nakuru Girls. We were told of our vision. I don't want to repeat. I don't want to repeat. Uh, but I want to insist on us taking note of the values. Taking note of the values. Hard work, integrity, teamwork, and responsibility. The deputy principal was there. She, she mentioned about the school rules. It's so easy. I know you sign. It's so easy. But I'm telling you, there are many things that come around the lives of our children. And I don't share. I don't shy away from mentioning some of the things that come around here. So that we are able to start talking to our daughters as early as possible. Sometimes, try to even walk around the compound and see what they write. The other day, I entered one of their toilets, and somebody has written, we are proud homos. We are proud homos. What do you understand by that? We are proud homos. What does it mean homo? What does homo mean? Homosexuals. I mean, you know those are things you don't even know. Think that these girls know. We are proud homos. So, 
a thing. What do you do as a parent? What do you do as a Because these things are there. In fact, it's a whole topic in Form 4. Lesbianism and homosexuality. It's a whole topic in Form 4. And those are some of the things that we want to be shy about. Don't. In fact, don't. Today morning in the parade, I told them, Takuru girls is not a school for homos, neither lesbianism. And the moment you're caught, you go home. You go home. Uh, and that is why it's good that you, you listen to us. And listen to us very carefully. Because the moment we get to our daughter, she goes. What an embarrassment. So talk to her about the kind of company that she needs to keep. Those, the school rules are very clear. They are uh, rules that say no pairing up. If you are seen pairing up, we treat it as homosexuality or lesbianism. A, a girl jumping from her bed to the other, sleeping too, we treat it as if you find you in some corners after prep, when the others have gone to sleep, we treat it as a homosexual. Are you now seeing the importance of this orientation? Yes. It's very, very critical because we have had girls, children leaving the school, feeling so embarrassed because, of, because if the whole school gets to know that you're homosexual, you are laughed at. In fact, you have no face again in the school. Talk to your daughters. Talk to your daughter because it is critical. So values at the Kuru girls are what makes us what we are. Now, uh, let's go to, yes, um, our theme this year. I'm entering a season of fruitfulness. I want to change from what I was to a better person. Like I've always said, none of our children is going to be described by the exam that she did yesterday. Because they've done exams. They finished the exam today. But it doesn't matter. Maybe your daughter came and she has not been able to understand. We are not going to describe her using the cut mark. We will always look ahead and say our oh, better days are ahead of us. Okay? That's why we are entering the, the, the season of fruitfulness every day. Let's move on. Why are we in this great school, parents? Today morning when you are coming, what did you tell yourself? Why were you coming to Nakuru girls? Why are you in this great school? Because actually this school is great. One day, um, and I know some of you are there, one day, sometimes in uh, April, around 12th, 12th, that was uh, lunch, for one lunch was done on 11th. And then 12th, I told my secretary while I was in Nairobi, uh, in case there's any parent who wants to come and see me in the office, looking for, for one place, just tell them to come. And I actually came from Nairobi. I wanted to come and read how many parents value Nakuru girls. I came and of course I slept in my house. At six, the secretary called and said there are around 15 parents at the gate. Doing what? They are coming to sit for common places. I went to the office before it was around 7, 7 30. And I stayed there till a few minutes to 9 p.m. And at that time, I had seen one that nine parents. I had seen one that nine parents. Because I wanted to see if people know the importance of Nakuru girls. One that nine parents. I even at some point, I, I just wanted to go out, tired. But I just went looking like I was making a call, you know? So that the parents who were queuing didn't get discouraged. You don't want to discourage anybody. 
Nakuru Girls Tabo School. And for all those who came to see us, we saw you. Not until we were not in the office. So even when we call you for meetings, please come, because we are here for you. We are here for you. So um, academic success is important because it is strongly linked to positive outcomes we value. Adults who are academically successful and with higher levels of education are more likely to be employed, have suitable employment, have more employment opportunities, than those with less education and earn higher salaries. Now I'm talking about this. Some of all of you went to school. You must be alumni of schools. In that alumni, these days we form forums. Do we have anybody who went to school with us? No, those who didn't make it, they don't get scared. Because people ask, where are you these days? If you are not anywhere, why would you want to join the forum? And therefore, us. We come around to support our daughters. We are building a future for them. We don't want them to be a category of people who will never be employed, who will never do the right courses in the university. It is easy to say, as a school, we have taken 94% of the university. But the question is, to go and do what? Parents, to go and do what? Courses that they will come up for 100 years. No. I think we need to be very serious in, in our covenants, as, the, as our pastor said. So we move on. Um, that's about people who have uh, succeeded. Let's look at, are you playing your role as a parent? Are you playing your role as a parent? Please look at, read it for yourself. Read it for yourself. Let's open the next page, uh, and, and that's what I want to read. That is why parents should continue to invest in and invest for their children. For such labor of love shall never go in vain. Investing in children means that they impart useful, useful values and skills in them. Useful values, kids. When the co uh, cooperative bank uh, lady was presenting information. It's like a good number of us who are wondering, should we go for this, should we do this? But let's go to the next level, parents. Let's go to the next level. Things are changing. Change is important. And by the time we are talking of a smart car, we have really experienced hell. We are actually teaching our daughters to stay. There are many times the dormitory, we don't know how they open the dormitories. I don't know. And sometimes we even want to imagine that they are our daughters. Somebody enters the dormitory and she, I don't know what happens. The suitcase is, I mean, it's opened. I don't know how they open. And money is stolen. Sometimes we've been, teachers have had to look for transport for the girls. Because a time like this is a time money is stolen in the dormitories. It's a time girls cry a lot because their things have been stolen. So we decided we go smart card. So that, I mean, how can you steal a smart card? And it is working from last year. From last year, we started and we are moving on. Let's embrace change and allow our daughters to grow. Because you only have three years, parents, this is something you don't know. Because I know your daughters are very bright. That one, I've seen your faces. Your daughters are very bright. And they are going to be global children. Most of them will go to America. Most of them will go to UK, Australia, Canada, nation. Will you be visiting them? Will you be taking pocket money for them in Canada? Let's start it here, okay? Now, let's look at the four P's in parenthood. Four P's in parenthood. And I will read. 
As a parent, you play your part by focusing on four P's. Prioritize, provide, protect, and pray for your children. When you prioritize your children, you budget with the money you have. As you think about the welfare of your children first, providing for them means that you supply all their needs according to your riches on this earth. As you send them to school, you will try your best to pay fees on time. By and large, you will get them all the personal effects and academic materials. You protect your children by shielding them against every form of evil influence. Like Job in the Bible, you protect your children by praying for them on daily basis. What about the three A's of parenthood? As a parent, you play your part by focusing on three A's. And before I explain on this, I've been, I've been, I've been around this like, in this world for quite some time. The other day, uh, a parent came to my office, a form three. And uh, he just wanted to show me the message the daughter written, the daughter wrote to him over the holiday. And it happened that um, one time this father is a very busy, is a very busy father. Busy, busy. So one time he comes home, that time when no one thinks he's, a, he's, he's to come home. And uh, the gate is open, and he finds the daughter having a chat with a young man, a young boy, he's also in country somewhere. And he gets so mad. He goes there and slaps the daughter, tells the boy, Rudy Queen. Wow, the daughter now, she receives the slap and she goes to the house. She writes a long message to the father. This is what she wrote. Who are you, Mr. Stranger? What am I saying? <laughs> Who are you, Mr. Stranger? Where are you coming from? Who do you think you are in my life? I don't need you. Were it not of mom, you will not have any relationship with me. Keep, keep off. Keep off your dirty hands from me. Look. Look at that, parents. Form three. What does that tell us about our parenting activity? But this parent has been distant from the daughter. And sometimes it is it happens that sometimes you don't even know you are distant from your daughter. Until you come to school and Mrs. Menu tells you, sit there and listen. Sit there and listen. And you can actually gain from your fellow parents. In fact, I want to look forward to a day that I will call all of you. Then I will say discussion groups, get into discussion groups, and let's discuss on how to bring up children. So that all of us are able to read from the same page. Before you are told, Mr. Stranger. <laughs> so, um, the, the, A's, the three A's, appreciation, learn to appreciate your children, affection and assertion of authority. On appreciation and affection, as a parent, you recognize every positive thing done by the child. Hugging, greeting, not only waiting with their mistakes, then you slap a child, that is a bit on the lower side. But do not forget to assert authority as a parent. Children learn humility and obedience at home. Children learn humility and obedience at home. Madam Kamau, the deputy said, there's a lot that we get to know on how you look at life. How you look at life is how your daughter looks at life. Sometimes back, was it last year, there was a former. She ran to my office, said, hey, take me to another class. He said, what? She said, you see, when I was going through my report card with my father, my father said, hmm, who is my mom? No? Who is my mom? Are you saying that? Honestly, do not no, even you do it to just you need to just honestly, what an attitude. What are you telling my daughter? That she start now really bad about the teachers. Let's be very careful. 
Humility starts from home. Sometimes, even when you see some of those in this field, guys, we wonder where are they coming from. We want to see their parents. Um, so, um, humility is the spirit of meekness, and this meekness is not weakness. Obedience is submission to authority. It behoves parents to teach their children how to submit to authority right at home. The conclusion of the matter. Parents cannot play their part if they accept to contract the disease called what, parents? Read the meaning of too busy. Yes, too busy. No, parents who subscribe to remote parenting and already here, there is remote. Some people, the teachers there were calling, say, there's a guardian who has been sent to come and pick a child. Oh, the, the guardian has already booked. Is he coached? Obviously, you mean, even in this season of madness, you, you, you want to hand over your daughter to a guardian. I would rather your daughter comes home alone than to be in the hands of a guardian. Parents, please don't. If you are not able to make it for the such meetings, don't be that insensitive to the life of your daughter. Either you choose to come only, your daughter come. Like 